Hello and salut everybody. Question of the day is, do you have peppies? You have church peppies. You know what I mean? Um, what I mean is, <laughs> what I mean by that is, do you, that do, do people do certain things at church that just gets on your nerve? Do certain things at church just get on your nerve that you don't think should be happening, but it happens at church and you just want to scream? You just like, no, you just want to do that. Do you have those peppies? Do you have church peppies? Do you? Well, I have some and I want to share that with you. But before I do, if you're new to the channel or you have not subscribed, please do so right now. Share this video. Even as we are chatting, share this. And also check out the rest of my videos. So thank you very much for being here. So I just came back from church. <laughs> As you can see, I'm standing up. I'm standing up right now and about to leave. I'm supposed to be going somewhere within 12 minutes. <laughs> so we're going to do this very, very quickly. But I have peppies, church peppies. There are certain things that just happens at church. And I just like, it gets on my nerve. But, you know, we know church is where we're supposed to be. Yeah, we go to church is normal. And it's just something about church. You know, when you enter, especially when you enter into the right church and you sit down, you get on your knees, you know, you're talking to God, it just feels right, right? I know you, you know what I'm talking about. So I want to tell you certain peppies of mine at church. Um, and I want to start with, it's not my, my, my top peppy. It's not the top one. But I want to start right. I want to start from the outside <laughs> to the inside. So my, the first pet peeve, again, not the top, but the first pet peeve is in a parking lot. You know how we all come to church and we rush into park and then, you know, get inside the church before the pastor comes in? Well, when you try to do that, you have people in front of you trying to practice their parallel parking. <laughs> you know what I mean? People trying to parallel park. You know, people like me who are not experts in parallel parking, they are practicing that parallel parking slowly, taking their time, and you are behind like, oh my God, I want to park, I want to go inside. So that's my number one pep, well, not number one, that's my first peppy. My first peppy is parallel parking slowly, practicing parallel parking in the parking lot when everybody else is behind you trying to park and go inside the church. That's first, Peppy of mine. So I just want to say, if you're not expert in parallel parking, we should zoom, zoom, and zoom back. <laughs> if you can do that quickly, please don't practice it when everybody's behind you. Don't try to practice. Don't try to parallel park when everybody's waiting to get inside. You know, everybody rushing and we're trying to get there on time. So please don't do that. If you want to parallel, you want to practice your parallel parking, make sure nobody's waiting behind you. Make sure that you're doing it where nobody's rushing to park. All right. So be mindful. Look behind you. Check around you. Look at the time, you know, when you're trying to parallel park. If you don't have that time, you have people waiting, just park normally and then practice your parallel parking next time. That's my, that's, so that's the first one. Um, the second one is my top peppies at church. Church top peppies of mine is coming to church late. I know, I know, I know before you scream at me and look at me weird, um, hear me out. I understand things happen and I understand that we have kids. We have to take care of kids, get them ready. Sometimes you have more than one kid. And it's not easy. I get it. I get that you have to do a lot to get to church. It's not like, you know, some, you know, people like us who can just, you don't have kids to get ready uh, for church. So I understand a lot of you have a lot to do before church. I understand that. So I'm not taking that away from you. I understand. But what I do is if I'm late, then I just wait for the next service. So what recommendation is when people, when you, people come in, so my peppy is you come in late to church and then you have your high heels on and you, have, you know, everybody disrupting the service. Everybody's looking at you instead of listening to what's happening. So it's like disruptive. So I'm just, my recommendation is, I know you have a lot to do, but you know, just try to like do, figure out what can you do like the night before 
you know, how to discipline kids or what you need to do. Think about something else you can do to help you get inside the church before the priest or the pastor get in, get in. When I was growing up, our grandmother, who we just lost, um, she teach us, she told us, you cannot be late to church. Church is one place you cannot be late to. When you go to church, you have to be inside the church before the pastor, the priest, anybody comes in, before the opening prayers. So I have, I will not be late for church. If I'm late, if I know I'm going to be late, even if it's just five minutes, two minutes, I wait for the next service. I know not everybody can do that because some people have to go to, you know, to work or have some place to be. I understand that. But it's just what I do because I will, I don't like to come to church after the opening prayer, after the pastor is inside. So my recommendation, if you can do it like mine, then do that. If you can, sacrifice, you know, plan better, talk to your kids, work something out with your kids, but try to come to church, you know, on time. And if you have to come late, <laughs> you just have to come late, you know, watch what you're wearing, you know, like your high heels. And maybe you don't have to come to the front. Maybe you can just sit at the back for now until, you know, it's not really disruptive before you can come to where, because everybody have a special seat that we normally sit at. So when you are late, maybe, you know, be quiet so that it's not disruptive. So that is my top one. So that's two, right? So the third peppy of mine, the top the number two peppy of mine is cell phones at church. <laughs> I understand nowadays cell phones is everything for us. It is our Bible. It is our lifeline. I understand. I get it. And I know sometimes we use the phone to read the verses. I get it. We have apps on there that we use to follow the verses or read the verses. I understand. If you use your phone to follow the verses or read the verses inside the church, then silence your phone. Silence your phone because you're in the middle of prayers and you're in the middle of a sermon and the phone is ringing. And the worst thing is it's ringing, but the person is not picking it up. They don't even know their phone, <laughs> their ringtone. The phone is ringing. Everybody's looking, okay, what is going on? And the person is like, you know, <laughs> You know, somebody's going to laugh. Okay, that's your phone. <laughs> it really, it gets on my nerve. I'm just saying. You know, I love us. I love us. This is coming from my heart. It's coming from a very, very loving place. So I'm just saying, unless you read, if you're reading, you're using your phone to read your verses, you need it at church. Put your phone on silence. Put it on silence. So that you're not going to hear any of that. You're not going to disrupt anybody. You're not going to interrupt anybody. You're not going to be rude to other people. But if you don't use it to read the verses, first of all, you can't talk at church, inside the church. So what I do, my recommendation, leave your phone in the car. That's what I do. Even though my phone is always on silence before, after church, I still leave it. If you see me with my phone, it means that maybe it's an event, it's a service, I mean, it's a wedding or something, you know, like it's not regular sermon that I can take my phone inside the church. But if it is a service, Sunday service, regular service, my phone is always in my car. So that's my recommendation. Leave your phones in your car, but if you need it for the verses to read the Bible or to follow then put your phone on silence, all right? So that is number three, right? So number four, <laughs> number four is the crying babies inside the church. I know I love our kids. We love our kids. And I know kids cry. That's their nature. Kids don't have a specific, they have a moon swing. They cry. They cry everywhere. They cry whenever they feel like it. Whenever, anyway, kids cry. So we all get it. We know that, but what I'm, what, what gets on my nerve, what turns it into a peppy of mine is when the kids are crying and you refuse to take them out. <laughs> Your kids are crying, disrupting the, the service, the prayers, but you just sit in there. You're like, okay, you know, you don't do anything about it until ushers have to come and make you take your kids out because the kids, the, the child is disrupting the, the service. 
So that's why it is a peppy. That's why I have it in, uh, in, on a list as a peppy. So please. When your babies are crying, we love them. Yes, we are tired and you know all of that. But, but when they are crying and they just they you can't shut them up right away. You know you can't stop them from crying. Please just take them out because it's disrupting the service. It's rude. Uh, it's interrupting everybody. You know we're taking the 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 our attention attention from the message from the prayers and everything. Everybody's focused on the crying baby. So that is my recommendation for that. The last but not least, <laughs> obviously last but not least, is outside. So I started it with from the parking lot. I'm going to finish with the parking lot. My last but not least is when, when we are leaving the church. We just heard the good news. We heard about loving each other, you know, caring for each other, you know, supporting each other, be kind to one another. But then we get into our cars. And then somebody's trying to get in front of us. We're like, no, ooh, ooh, you're not getting, you're not, I'm not letting you go through. We're just sitting there and just people are like, you know, want to get in front of us, you know, making it, telling you, you know, let me go, let me go, can I go? You're just like, mm-mm, aha, mm-mm, you're not going through. So I'm just like, we just came out of church. You just came out of church and heard all of this. And then you won't let your, your, you know, your fellow, fellow, you know, <laughs> brother and sister you can't let them get in front of you you can't let them pass by you're just like no i'm like you just came out of church so i just want to say we try let's try to be not just defensive drivers kind compassionate loving patient <laughs> drivers especially when we just come out of a church we just finished the service. We just heard all the good news, good we're supposed to do. You know, show it. Show that. What we, I just came out of church. Okay, go ahead. You know, go ahead. Because even if you say, no, I'm not going to go, or you, if you let them pass, you're still going to get home the same time. I promise you. You're still going to get home the same time. So these are my peppies. Uh, I have 15 minutes. I think I 12, 12 minutes. It is almost 12 minutes. <laughs> 12 minutes. It's past 12 minutes now. So these are my peppies I want to share with you today so that I can run to where I'm going right now. So I just want to say, you guys know I love you guys. And I have to be honest with you. I just came out of church. I just experienced some of them at church today. So I'm like, okay, let me have this quickly. And I'm probably not even going to post this till like next Sunday, but um, if I can get through this before I leave, I may post it right now. But these are my peppies for you. I don't know what your peppies are, but if you identify with my peppies or you have other peppies, I want to hear from you. Uh, go ahead and send me your comments. Again, you know I'm going to ask you, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, share this video. You know you're going to share it. Share this video, like, and also check out the rest of my videos. And I thank you for being here. If you like any part of these, you know, this video, I want you to share it. Please subscribe and also check out the rest of them. So stay safe and blessed. And I will see you next time you see me.